Ah, good morning, and welcome to Lang Lake County, the county of trails, the gateway to the north. Speaking of trails, I'm on the Ice Age Trail right now, the Lumber Camp segment. Kettle Bowl is right over there. We're gonna do some skiing today. We're gonna do snowmobiling, and the trails connect everything there is to do. Hang on, we're in for some winter outdoor fun today in Lang Lake County. In eastern Langley County, you can find the historic town of White Lake, the Wolf River noted to be one of the most scenic and rugged rivers in the Midwest, and, much like the rest of the county, seemingly endless stretches of trails. I can't wait to explore this side of Langley, and this time, I'm going in the middle of winter. So Tim, really excited to get out here and snowmobile with you today. This is the county of trails, right? So what's, what's waiting out there for us? The scenery, the system, tell us all about it. We got probably 10 to 12 inches of fresh snow. Our trails are groomed down. Should be a great weekend for riding because we got some awesome trails. So I'm riding fresh powder. Fresh, yes. Snowmobiling was an absolute blast because the guys in these clubs, and there are 10 snowmobile clubs just in Lang Lake County alone, they're fun, they're friendly, they loaned me one of their snowmobiles, and we just had a great time going through forests, going across farmlands. You could do a mixture of just gentle riding and appreciating the landscape to just opening it up and, and racing each other on those open lands. And you just really get to take in the best of what snowmobiling has to offer, and the trails are well groomed, they're well maintained. And the clubs, again, just do a great job. So I was looking actually at a snowmobile trail map of the Lang Lake County trails. It's really extensive. So what makes them so great? I mean, they, they seem to go everywhere. When I'm out at meetings talking to people, they, they say, wow, you're from Lang Lake County. We love coming up there. You got the big farm fields, fast trails. You got the rolling hills, the big timber. You got the cedar swamps. You got the tag alders. All of our scenery up here is unbelievable. It just changes so much. It'll take you just about anywhere, right? Yes. Over 500 miles in Lang Lake County. I didn't know it was that many. Whoa. I think we're 25,000 in the state of Wisconsin. So Lang Lake County accounts for a pretty sizable chunk of the established snowmobile trails in the state. Yes. So you can go right into the heart of town snowmobiling or be out in the middle of the forest. Yes. You've got the variety. I like it. You can get pretty much anywhere on Lang Lake County snowmobile trails, including downtown White Lake, where I made a stop at the White Lake Historical Society Museum. You know, whenever you visit a new place, it's always great to check out the local history, and Lang Lake County has plenty of it. The original railroad depot, I'm in it right now, was built in 1916, and you can check out all kinds of original artifacts. 1916 was the birth of White Lake, and they had tall, uh, abundant stands of timber here, a beautiful lake with pure water, so it was a great opportunity for people to move here. Some were farmers that had a lot of fertile soil here, some were loggers, including my grandfather. And there was two railroads that came out here at that time as well. So there's a lot of history in this area. And it's not just the town's history that's worth talking about. More than 100 years ago, the Yachty Bissell Lumber Company in White Lake was one of the most advanced and modern sawmills in the country. Today, the mill still operates as Robin's Sports Surfaces, producing basketball court flooring used by the NBA, the NCAA, and even the Olympics. And so if you take a walk through our historical society, you can see how our ancestors lived. It's a great place to bring your children and grandchildren. And it's funny how they come back again and again. Once they come the first time and they may ask a little bit and then all of a sudden they're back again, they become part of the community. After learning about the area's history, I had a whole new appreciation for the land around me when I hit the trails again. My next stop, Kettle Bull Ski Hill and Cross Country Trails. So the snowmobile trails were great. 
but I hopped off here at Kettle Wool because I'm exchanging these for these and I'm getting some pulls because it's time to go down the slopes. First few trips down were great. I've been skiing in a little while, so this is a nice treat and it's a nice way to ease back into it. Always fun to see these kids that are 30, 40 years younger than you and they can ski better than you. It is a very beautiful place and it's well maintained and the chalet is gorgeous. Even the people that gather here, we all actually become one big family and we just enjoy our time here together at Cuttable. I think anytime you get outside and do stuff with your kids is a, just a good, fun experience. great to get outside and get some fresh air. It's probably one of my favorite activities to do with my family. The trees are beautiful up here. We have lots of nature and wildlife here in Lake Lake County that you can enjoy as well. And one of the best ways to take in the beauty of nature, a silent sport like snowshoeing or cross-country skiing. And where better to do it than on Wisconsin's own National Scenic Trail that passes right by Kettleball. So they, they also like to call Langley the county of trails. Clearly a lot of trails through here, but you have the Ice Age Trail co coming right through here. Yeah, it comes right past, right in front of the chalet here, and it ends up across the, uh, Highway 52 there. Now you're into the hills and the forest, and yeah, it's just a beautiful spot. And people do come through here in the winter. You know, the Ice Age Trail is a great trail to hike in the summer and in the fall with that beauty, but the winter, it's so gorgeous, it's so serene, it's so peaceful. You get the snow on the evergreens, you get the freshness of the snow on the ground. It's really just a beautiful, peaceful walk through some of the most beautiful land in the Midwest.